Good evening, friends. Uh, welcome to Farm and Timber. I'm Matt here. Got a little minor vehicular emergency. Um, my bride was coming home, said she couldn't see, and the reason why she couldn't see, thought she, she thought she needed glasses, but she had a headlight out, so um, she's got to go back to work. At, uh, she's a nurse. She's going to be heading out of here uh, 6 o'clock, well before the sun comes up. So we need to go ahead and get this light bulb uh, squared away on this Chevrolet. So um, this is going to be an 09 Suburban light bulb replacement. And we're just doing the low beam because that's the one that's out. Um, so we're going to do real quick, go through the tools. I got my uh, impact screw gun to make it a little faster. I got uh, the quarter inch drive to um, a 3 8 uh, socket drive and then I got a three to or three eighths to I believe quarter inch socket and then I got a seven millimeter and the seven millimeter there are two screws right here on the fender and what we got to do is take this uh, cowling cover on the inside the fender loose to get the light bulb right here or to get the headlight assembly loose and then there are two um, bolts that take a 10 millimeter socket up there to uh, get the headlight to actually fall on out. I also am going to be using a um, plastic punch tool, so sit back and if you haven't done this before, hopefully you learned something. If not, uh, it's just part of working on older equipment. There's always uh, something you got to work on. So, and uh, part in the mess. It's winter time. It's raining, and we got everything crammed up in the garage right now, trying to keep it dry. Uh, we had a little break last week. Uh, in the rain. However, I think we're back. It's rained two days straight and we're looking like we're going to get another third day of rain. So, uh, we're trying to keep everything dry as best we can. So, with that, I uh, hope you enjoy. We'll talk to you in a little bit. Alright, on this fender cowling, there's two screws right here and right here. We're going to take this screw gun and back them out. I can hold my light there and my screw gun's got a light, so that helps out too. Make that quick and simple, and this quick and simple. Uh, also, a note that helps out is turn your steering wheel all the way over to the right, and that helps you get a little bit more access to get this screw gun in there. First time I did it, uh, it was a little tight, and then I was like, after I got put all back together, I was like, oh, well that makes, give me more room, so. All right, next thing I got is my plastic plug puller. There's um, a solid plug there. Oh, that was where the screw was. Uh, there's a push pin there. There should be another one. Where did that? There's one down there. And there's another push pin there. Push pin there. So I gotta take two plugs and three push pins out to get this fender cowling uh, to come loose. And of course, I'm trying to do that screw hole again. push pins of course you get the center piece out and then come in there and get the bottom piece out because this is a two-piece I'm trying to blind you but there's a two-piece pin now one of the things I was having problems with when I was getting started is the lighting it was poor it was poor in the garage here uh, one of the things I did and I hope it helps out leave a comment below but I went through and changed my ISO which is a setting in the camera um, to let more light in. we take this cover off right here is there's a bolt right here hook under here and I know you can't see it but there's a bolt right here just take my word for it that you take it loose and uh, you take it out and the whole 
headlight assembly should fall out. next part is I got to take these two bolts right here this bolt right here and this bolt right here out that's part of the assembly I might have to take a couple of these bolts out right here to get the grill loose to have enough play to, for this to fall forward and I can replace it so I'm going to get these that and actually there's enough room, I should be able to get my hand out. There's the light bulb. I have enough light. New light bulb. One of the things on a new light bulb is, uh, i get you to turn around here a little bit. On the new light bulb, you gotta try, and I'm gonna be, I don't think I'm gonna do a good job at it, but you gotta try to put it in there without touching it because your oils on your hand will eventually cause it to short out. And I believe that's the right way. Now I just gotta fit it in there and lock it into place. All right, there's a little gasket on it that helps seal it up that was giving me a little trouble. So we're going to try it real quick, see that light comes on. All right, with that, it pretty much wraps up this little short, brief video. I'm just going to put everything back, um, do it, basically the reverse of everything taken off, put it back together. But uh, should be able to be safe on the road again, safe travels. So with that, hope everybody has a good night, and hopefully you learned something if you hadn't replaced a uh, headlamp on one of these older, I say they're older, being an 09, but I guess being uh, 11 years old, um, it's an older vehicle now. So with that, I hope you have a good night and we'll catch you next time. Mic tech, mic test, mic test. Always uh, check your external mics uh, before you do a video. I don't know about y'all, but why is it that an igloo cooler makes the best seats to work on stuff? Or just, I don't know, it just, it just does, I guess.